No, 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 no. Come on, guys. <gasps> no, 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 no. Go help him. Go, go, go. Save him, save him. Oh, oh, kill him. I have a feeling we're gonna go back in time. Like somebody's gonna tell their story. Oh. Why is he so upset? Oh, it's a graveyard for soldiers. He must have been in the war and lost, if not everybody, he lost a lot of people, you could tell through the pain in his eyes and the way he's stomping his steps and weaving in and through the graves. He's not one of them, but it's like that survivor's guilt. Oh no, oh. Oh, if it was my dad, I'd be bawling. I really wanna know who he is or who he was. Oh. oh. I don't like puke. It's, it's absolutely crazy when you think about people risking their lives for their country. It's amazing, but I think they're really capturing the fear even men have, like going into to people shooting at you. Get down, get down, get down, get down. Oh no. <gasps> Can that actually happen, dying underwater like that? Like, do the bullets actually go? I was not expecting that. Amazing how even some of them got through that. <gasps> oh. oh, it's like a sea of blood. Get, get down. Where's his helmet? <gasps> oh no, he lost his arm. Oh my god. Put your helmet back on. Oh no. Is he gonna go first? Oh, ooh. They're all just dying. Oh. Go, 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 go. Yeah, that's the other thing. Like, it's not just soldiers, right? I guess it's a. Oh! It's medics. Get out of this scene. Who's in command here? You are, sir. First wave, ineffective. We do not hold the beat. Sure, party. <gasps> oh. This is all. This is all that's made it. It's not enough. The hug will. <gasps> oh. Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh. Go, 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 go! Come on, guys.
guys, run! Run! We gotta run. He's gone. I think it'd be the worst to be a medic in this. Oh. Smart. Ryben, Malik, let's get into the war. Oh. And put some fire on that crew. I would not want to be in charge. Covering fire! One of them's gonna get shot. I don't want to watch. I like them. <gasps> See you guys. You were my mother. <laughs> All my strength. Oh. <gasps> Did they kill their own guy? Get down, get down. Making progress, but what happens when in war you put your hands up? Like, can you like? Oh, it's like execution. Ooh, what does that do? Oh wow, he takes dirt from every. It's quite a view. Yes, it is. What are they looking like? There's so many of them. I just can't believe the sea of blood. Do you think there's any alive? Right. No words of mine can ever relieve the out with the fire. Notice they're all women, because all the men were at war. Something's up. Colonel, I've got something you should know about. These two men died in Normandy. Sean Ryan. Peter Ryan. The three men are brothers, sir. Oh my goodness. This afternoon, their mother's going to be getting all three telegrams. There's a fourth brother, the youngest. He, he's somewhere in Normandy. We don't know where. Oh, they're going to tell her in person. That's the right thing to do. Four boys at war. Oh no. Does she know? Do you think she knows? She knows. Oh no. No. Now, assuming Private Ryan even survived the jump, he could be anywhere. They have to find him for the mom. If I was a mama of four boys, which I'm not, but if I was, I would want them to go find the fourth. The boy's alive. We are going to send somebody to find him. Yes! And we are going to get him to hell. Out of there. Will you let me know that? Airborne was supposed to win an open door for the rest of them. What about our casualties? The figures were 35 dead, times two wounded. It was a tough assignment. That's why you got it. I've got another one for you. Yes, sir. So he's going to save Private Ryan. It's not going to be easy finding one particular soldier in the middle of this whole goddamn war. Pointed a needle in a stack of needles. I'm looking for Corporal Upham yes, sir. Timothy E. I'm Upham, sir. Can you speak French and German? Yes, sir. Very good. You've been reassigned to me. Grab Thanks, your sir. gear. I've never, I haven't held a weapon since basic training, sir. Did you fire the weapon in basic training? Yes, sir. Well, then get your gear. Yes. <laughs> Poor kid. Look at them all. How are they ever going to find this guy? Oh, this is where they swarm the beach. Hey, touch your head blown off, you fancy little fuck. Touch <laughs> me with those little rat claws again. Get the fuck back in formation. Wondering where you're from. Aww. I mean, where's the sense of risking the lives of the eight of us to save one guy? Think about the poor bastard's mother. You used to put me in this here sniper rifle anywhere, up to and including one mile of Adolf Hitler. Back your bags, fellas. War's over. <laughs> it's a little cocky. Oh, you hear? You starting to hear more gunshots? Or is it just rain? Oh no, it's gunshots. It's gonna be tight, be prepared for close contact. Oof. Oh, I don't think this is a good idea. I need a wheelchair before this war is over. That looks like an old woman. I love how they've like inserted a little bit of humor, like my ankle's like an old woman. <laughs> oh no. That's what if they know where the Germans are. So Yo, we can't take the kids. <laughs> we can't take <gasps> We're not here to 
do the decent thing. We're gonna follow fucking orders. Hey, kids! <laughs> Oh no, now the kid's there. Coffee. Help me up, I can walk. I can walk. The bar's all stay still. No, oh, he's gonna die. He's not gonna listen. He's gonna die. Two clicks. Left wind. One of them's gonna die. Coffee, put the head down. The kid, put the head down. Let not my enemies try and pull with me. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. Oh no. No, 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 no. <gasps> they did it! Well, as sad as it is to see somebody die. We got him. Stay down. <laughs> She's like, Dad, why did you do that? I find the movie is so well done so far. Like, you really feel like you're in it and. That's why we can't take children. Oh, must be so hard, right? Like, you just see your friend die, and then you have to go right back to work. Jimmy T, go find Captain Hamill. Bring him in here. What? What the? How the hell should I know? Would you just go look, do you moron? <laughs> You're out of my boot. Oh my goodness! Come on, come on. Who's gonna kill who? Fred Hamill, Pathfinders, 101st. We're here looking for a private James Ryan. He's part of your outfit. Get Ryan up here. They found him? Sir, Private Ryan recording is ordered. They found him. Private, I'm afraid I have some bad news. Your brothers are dead. Oh, no. My brothers are dead. I'm so sorry, James. <laughs> I can't be. My brothers are still in grammar school. Uh, it's the wrong Private Ryan? James Francis Ryan. James Frederick Ryan, Minnesota. Uh, wrong guy. We're looking for a different private Ryan. Lieutenant, I'm sorry for the trouble. I'm sure as hell could use you around here, but I understand what you're doing. I got a couple of brothers myself. Find them. Get them home. Must be a, such a weird mission, though. Like, you're going there to fight the Nazis, and then you have to stop, redirect your energy and your thoughts and everything towards this one person. And in the meantime, other people are dying. Do you know how many men I've lost under my command? 94. But that means I've saved the lives of 10 times that many. So you rationalize making the choice. This Ryan better be worth it. He'd better go home, cure some disease, or invent a longer lasting life bulb or something. <laughs> Truth is, I wouldn't trade 10 Ryans for one Becky or one Caparzo. Aww. Now first. They're going through it like, like it's. Uh oh. Yeah, put them back in there. It's wrong. She's not here. She's bound to hear us sooner or later. Ryan! Anybody know a Ryan? You know Private Ryan? Oh, James Francis Ryan. Some, quick, quick, come on, a pencil. Yeah, of course I know him, sir. Does he know him? Ran into a colonel who was gathering up men to go to uh, Ramel. Ramel is on the Meridoret River right here. I love all the costumes, the colors, the music. It all blends together and makes the movie push on Paris until we take a deep water port and Rommel knows that. This is the flank. We'll make the big right turn to Cherbourg. Why is this hand shaking? Is he nervous? Let's go. Oh no. I just, uh, I don't have a good feeling about this one. When was the last time you felt good about anything? True. Are they going to follow? All right. Mellish, you hook to the right. I'll go up to middle. Who's going left? Who's going left? Maybe I should go left, sir. Maybe you should shut up. <laughs> Is that a dead horse? Oh, no. Is 
Is he gonna see? Uh-oh. <gasps> Was somebody in there? What is he doing? Go help them. Is he gonna get killed? Is he gonna get killed? Oh no. Oh no. Wait, I got an exit wound. But it's in the small of your back. Oh. He's gonna die. No. I wanna go home. I wanna go home. Are they all gonna blame the captain? Because they weren't even supposed to do that. They could have. I have a hard time not blaming him for not just going around. I know he was trying to do the right thing, but. <laughs> Look at the rubble and the damage and. Excuse you? What the hell is going on? I would not do that. That's an enemy. No, I mean, yeah, I mean, please. I like America. Do they kill him? Do they kill him? You see, and you see, I say. He's so desperate. What are they gonna do? Tell him to march a thousand paces in that direction. You gotta be kidding me. We'll let him go. Can't take him with us. Cam, you just let the enemy go. That's such bullshit. Y'all got that right. Get your gear. Let's go. I'm done with this mission. Yes, sir. Put you walk away from your captain. Drive and get back in line. Captain! Oh, no, this is bullshit. Falling. Do it, Sarge. Do it, man. Pull one in my leg. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Where your mouth is it going? No, 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 no. What's waiting. the pull on me up to right now? What, what, what's it up to? I'm a school teacher. I teach English composition. A school teacher? I've been at Thomas Alva Edison High School as a coach of the baseball team. Aww. It's like ordinary people just got thrown into war. Sometimes I wonder if I've changed so much, my wife is even going to recognize me whenever it is I get back to it. Aww finding him so he can go home. If that earns me the right to get back to my wife, well then, that's my mission. Is he leaving? Or is he gonna follow him? I wonder if that, like, really, like, they just buried them on site. This is not what I expected whatsoever when it was saving Private Ryan. Uh oh. The music is saying. Oh. <gasps> Careful, boys. Easy Company, 501st. Ryan, 1st to 506. AFC Tommy. Wait. James Francis, Ryan? Yes, sir. They found him? So what are you guys all about? We're here for him. Ryan. Oh, he's gonna find out his brothers died. If I found out my siblings died like that, I would lose it. Just absolutely lose it. What is this about? Your brothers were killed in combat. Which which one? All of them. All of them. You came all the way out here to tell me that? You're going home. Oh. Bring me back. He doesn't want to go back. I have my orders too, sir. They don't include me abandoning my post. Two of our guys already died trying to find you, all right? Why? Why me? Why do I deserve to go? Why not any of these guys? They all fought just as hard as me. Because your mother lost three boys. Is that what they're supposed to tell your mother? Tell her that when you found me, I was here 
and I was with the only brothers that I have left. Oh. My. Goodness. It's an order, though. They went all the way to find him. How can he not leave? I get it, but... What is he thinking? What are your orders? What do you think? Let's leave him and go home. What if by some miracle we stay and actually make it out of here? Someday we might look back on this and decide that saving Private Ryan was the one decent thing we were able to pull out of this hole. We do that, we all earn the right to go home. They're gonna stay. I'm thinking they're gonna try to whip around the flanks. What's the plan? What's the plan? Hit them hard we can, one on one, and fall back to the bridge. So how do we stop the tank? You know, we could try a sticky bomb. Sticky bomb, sir? What's a sticky bomb? Sounds like a sticky bed. You take a standard issue GI sock, cram it with as much Comp B as it can hold, and you coat the whole thing with axle grease. It should stick. It's a bomb that sticks. It's a sticky bomb. Sticky bomb. I like it. Now we gotta surrender our socks. <laughs> I'll do it. Where am I during all this? Never more than two feet away from me. That's yeah. Fucked up beyond all recognition. Oh. <laughs> Take it easy. <laughs> Poor kid. I'm sure they're all starving and so thirsty. Even life itself, sometimes I dream that I'm in your arms. What was that part? She, 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 she sang that before. And you speak softly in my ear, and I find that marvelous. With you, I, I find myself curiously aroused by you. And... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, you know, it's marvelous. Really, really song. For songs like this, the crowds aren't going to have to shoot me. <laughs> I'm just going to slip my own lips. <laughs> You know what that song reminds me of? Reminds me of Mrs. Rachel Trubowitz. What she said to me the day I left the bait. Don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and she's easily like a, uh, a 44 double E. Side cut, silk ribbon, triple panel, girdle with the shelf lifting here. And she sees me, and she can tell I got a heart on the size of the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> and she says, if you're ever scared, I want you to close your eyes and think of these. I wonder where his hands should. I can't see my brother's faces. You got to think of a context. I don't want to think of home. I, I think of something specific. I think of my my hammock and my wife pruning the rose bushes and. Uh... Tell me about your wife and those rose bushes. You know. <laughs> you know I don't want to say just for me. I don't really like this sitting around. They're coming. Are they coming from both directions? He, from the east, he sees Tiger tanks, two of them, Panzer tanks, two of them, infantry, 50 plus change. Gotta blow up the bridge. <sighs> up them! Hustle up! Oh, I'm getting nervous. Oh, blow them up. Oh boy. Here they come. Oh, oh. Now what? Or they split up. <gasps> oh, they're gonna go, they're gonna go. Oh boy. Oh god. Stay down. I hope nobody on their team dies. I wanna get ready. Uh oh. Gotta do something. Come on, be a hero. Be a hero. You're gonna have to shoot your gun. Run! 
the good guys, bad guys, good guys, bad guys. I have a feeling he's gonna do something to save the day. <gasps> Come on, guys. Oh no. Kill them. Oh my god, did they kill one of their own? Oh. Come on. Oh. You don't even know like who's winning now. Oh, he's still alive. Go, go! Oh, I hate filing. Okay, go! A little faster. You have the ammo. Go! Go, go! Okay, you need to move a little slower. Uh, faster. Go save your friend! No, 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 no! Save him! Save him! Oh, oh! Kill him! No! What is wrong with you? Like, I get it, he's scared, but he could have saved him. Maybe he's still gonna do something epic. Go, go, go! <gasps> Where are they all coming from? Run! Are they gonna blow up the bridge? Go, 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 get him, get him, pick him up. Use your gun. Alright, go. Oh, no. Oh. <sighs> These last twenty minutes are freaking intense. You could literally kill them. Get down! Oh, he got hit. No, 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 don't kill him. No, he can't die. Is he gonna kill them? Oh no! 
It's the guy they let go. Let's spin that! Hang in there, Captain. He can't die. The tank buster, sir, P 51s. Angels on our shoulders. Earn this. Earn it. He's not gonna die. They basically all die trying to save him. No. I pray that our Heavenly Father may assuage the anguish of your bereavement. I can't believe he died. Every day, I think about what you said to me that day. To earn it. I hope that at least <laughs> in your eyes, I earn what all of you have done for me. <laughs> they all died for him. That's it. I'm just gonna take two minutes. Um, that was really emotional. Uh, it, that one was a tough one, especially the ending. So I'm just going to take a few minutes and then I'll come back for the recap. Hey everyone, thanks for giving me that minute to go wipe the tears and uh, take a sip of water. That movie was really intense from start to finish. It, the between the costumes, the music, the scenes, uh, the acting, there were so many known actors in it, which I didn't know. I only knew that Tom Hanks was in it. It all came together and made the movie. At some points, I really didn't understand the idea of going to save one person. It, it doesn't really make much sense to me, uh, given the whole war mentality. So I get it, it's like a fictional story, whatever. Um, and it was based off of some type of true story, I believe, like uh, somebody named by the name of Frederick. So I'm not too sure about it. I might actually go read about it because I'm that into to this movie. I like the message, earn it, earn this. It's a really good life lesson. Earn your life. Not everybody gets to live it full blown or gets to live from start to finish. So earn the life you are given. So I really like the message at the end that was given before he took his last breath and died. I think that the makeup, like literally everything, from start to finish made this movie, made me feel like I was there in that time, um, at the time, like all the explosions, the guns and all that, yes, it made me jump, but the storyline behind all of it is what I really got hooked on. I am extremely, extremely saddened by the fact that the captain, uh, Tom Hanks' character died. In some ways, like, yes, it's very sad, but in other ways, it made the ending. The goal was to save Private Ryan, sorry. And they did it. And I think if Tom Hanks had lived, the ending wouldn't have been as good because I literally started bawling as he died. Like crying because he he got me so invested in the good behind people and like, let's just earn it. Like, let's do our mission and get the hell home. Yeah, so I'm very sad he died, but it made the end of the movie. So, and we'll see y'all next time.